Welcome back to the First Morning Experience. I'm meteorologist Allison Finch. And I'm Radar Reed, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between high pressure and low pressure. A lot of the time when we give our forecasts, we say things like high pressure is building into the region, but we don't go into much more detail about it. We determine the weather due to air pressure. When we have a drop in air pressure, that's what we call low pressure. It's denoted with a red L on weather maps. The surface winds come together or converge and move up in the atmosphere. This creates stormy weather like rain, snow, and wind. In the northern hemisphere, those surface winds move counterclockwise around the low. A good way to remember what low pressure brings is that low pressure brings lousy weather like rain, snow, or wind. Let's head over to Reed to get an idea of what high pressure is. If low pressure is where you see a decrease in air pressure, then high pressure is where we see that air pressure on the rise for us here. It is known to have clockwise rotation in the northern hemisphere, and we mark it on our weather maps with a blue H. Uh, what's happening in the atmosphere is air is sinking to the surface and spreading out in all different directions, also known as diverging away from each other. And what we see when we have high pressure over our region is pretty similar to what we're seeing here today, clear skies and dry conditions. And the easy way to remember high pressure is think of happy. High pressure equals happiness because you are outside and you are enjoying the pleasant conditions that the weather is bringing to you today. Once again, I'm Radar Reed. And I'm meteorologist Allison Fitch. If you have any weather related questions, be sure to send them in. We would love to answer them. Feel free to check us out too at WNYT.com FWE for more videos and for our weather blog too. Thanks for watching.